Hello everyone and welcome back to Lewis News, your number one YouTube channel for all types of Spider-Man news. And in today's video, we are going to be talking about a Black Cat live action movie and her potential appearance in MCU Spider-Man 4. But before we get into that, if you are new around here, this is your number one YouTube channel for all types of Spider-Man news. So make sure you're subscribed because 2023 is going to be a massive year for the webhead. We've got everything from Across the Spider-Verse, a bunch of Sony stuff, and of course, Marvel Spider-Man 2 later on in fall. But with that being said, let's get straight into the rumor but once again this is a rumor and a leak so make sure to take it with a grain of salt because this may not be true this isn't anything official this isn't coming from marvel or sony so this may end up being fake however this leak is coming from ember obviously on twitter and we know ember is very reliable she covered a bunch of stuff from spider-man no way home which turned out to be true so she is a reliable source and we've reported on a bunch of things coming from her account on this channel before but with that being said let's get straight into the leak regarding Black Cat. And she says that it looks like Black Cat will not be a part of Spider-Man 4's story. MCU Peter Parker's love interest remains Michelle Jones Watson. Which I know a lot of people are going to have an immediate problem with because they don't want MJ to return for the brand new trilogy. But obviously it's Zendaya and it's Tom Holland and they are the household names of the MCU Spider-Man franchise. So why fix what's not broken if you kind of get me? But obviously a bunch of people are saying, well, it kind of undoes the ending of Spider-Man No Way Home if you bring MJ back because we had that somber ending where Peter kind of finally accepted that MJ's life was going good without him and she didn't really need him. Pete Parker didn't exist anymore, but it looks like they are going to be reincorporating that relationship back into MCU Spider-Man 4. But going back to the Black Cat movie, Ember then goes on to say that, make no mistake, there are plans for her. Sony is discussing making a Black Cat movie in the SSU, which is the Sony Spider-Man universe. The decision to exclude her from Spider-Man 4's story buys them more time to decide what to do with this beloved character. And that's something that I do agree with, as much as I'm sad that she won't be appearing in MC Spider-Man 4 because that story would be absolutely perfect for her character, at least they aren't throwing her in there willy-nilly so they can have more time to expand upon her character in her own solo movie, which where she will get more of the screen time and she'll get more character and she'll get more story. And I mean, I think it's absolutely criminal that we haven't had a Black Cat live action movie or at least Black Cat on the big screen before. The closest we got to that was Felicia Hardy in Tasm 2. So I think it's very good that Sony are taking their time with developing a Black Cat movie according to Ember. Ember then also goes on to talk about Zendaya and Tom Holland in MCU Spider-Man 4 and how MJ will be the love interest. She says this decision was likely also made in part due to the real relationship and chemistry between Tom Holland and Zendaya, which is totally right. I mean, at the end of the day, Tom Holland and Zendaya are dating in real life and they work really, really well together. You know, they've got chemistry. Obviously, they're together in real life, as we mentioned, and it just would be perfect for MCU Spider-Man 4 to bring Zendaya back. And it's just the easier choice, isn't it? And I guess some people will say, well, this is the safest choice. And yeah, to some extent it is. But why bring in a brand new cast of characters that may end up not even working? You might as well stick with what works and bring Zendaya back for that MJ role. But as we discussed earlier, we are in a bit of a paradigm with this because as we do know, the end of No Way Home was a very somber ending to that relationship and those two characters. And it gave it a lot of depth. And some people believe that bringing MJ back to be the love interest for the new trilogy will completely undo that ending completely. But going on to Black Cat, I think it is very, very upsetting that we're not going to see her in MC Spider-Man 4 in any capacity, whether it would be the love interest or a side hero to Spider-Man in that film. Because Black Cat would have worked perfectly for that story. But once again, like I said earlier in the video, I am very glad that she is reportedly getting her own movie at Sony Pictures. But with that being said, that is it for today's video. Make sure to leave a like on it if you did enjoy and also make sure to subscribe so you do not miss any Spider-Man news in the future. 2023 is going to be a massive year for Spider-Man, as I did say. These have been leaks and rumors from Ember on Twitter. So once again, take these with a grain of salt because these may end up not being true. We know the industry ebbs and flows so quickly. With that being said, thank you guys for watching. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Take care and peace.